I see what's being called the second petrochemical hub being planned for our area. And what it means is a whole complex of things. They want to put six giant pipelines along the Ohio River. They also want to have storage caverns. They want to have cracker plants. These are very polluting. They want to use them to create plastic, which is also polluting the oceans, polluting the air. We need to be using less plastic. We need to be getting away from fossil fuels and moving forward into renewables. And instead, natural gas is taking up the slack because somebody can make money on it. There are people who say they want to believe that they make a living playing the piano in a whorehouse. That's not how people in whorehouses make money. And that's not how people in Congress get elected by serving their constituents. They serve the people who enable their campaigns by giving them money. And so naturally, they do whatever they're paid to do. And people like us, people who care about the future, people who care about the water and the air, we don't have money. We can't compete on that basis. My two-year-old grandson, is he ever going to be the age his parents are now, 32? Probably. Will he ever get to my age, 61? I doubt it. Because the world we're creating is not a world that people can live in. And it just drives me crazy that what everybody thinks is, is the logical thing to do is to just keep on building more fossil fuels while occasionally giving a little bit of lip service to the concern about climate change. If we're going to do something about climate change, we need to stop with the fossil fuels and get on with converting to renewables. There's no reason not to be doing it right now.